three reasons lab grown meat must be stopped. I, I don't know why anyone in their right mind <laughs> would trust this. Why anyone in their right mind will will create will eat something that was created in a lab by scientists. You don't know what's going to happen to you uh, later on down the road, what kind of stuff this might cause. I mean, it, it's, it's wild. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that um, and, um, and talk about why the globalist is pushing this and, and want you to eat this and bugs. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jdatapsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from the Liberty Daily. Um, and they report that the globalists really want us to eat bugs. They want us to eat meat that was cultured in a Petri dish. They want us fearing cows, farms, and unprocessed food uh, because supposedly the components of a healthy food supply chain are causing climate change. Y'all know I've done tons of video, uh, videos calling out the uh, a globalists and their agenda and how they want to depopulate us and, and um, want to make us uh, turn the United States into a third world country. Y'all know how I... I talk about this all the time, and I have the receipts. I have the videos of their own words saying and, state, saying and stating this. But uh, that's the story they're telling. The reality of their intentions can be tracked back to Henry Kissinger, who said, quote, who controls the food supply can control the people. That's absolutely true. Jason Nielsen, co-founder of Prepper All Naturals, believes there are three reasons lab-grown beef in particular is being backed by globalist billionaires and their minions. Quote, this is all about control and beef. Um, um, I'm sorry, this is all about control and beef. It's at the center of their agenda, Nelson said. This is why long before when even... Uh, long before we even launched our company, my family was stock, uh, stocking up on long-term storage stakes. I've never I heard of those storage stakes. I've never tried it myself. I wonder what they what they taste like. These stakes that um, last last for years. But the three reasons Nelson cited as threats coming from the promoting um, um, from those promoting lab-grown meat are sorry, I'm struggling reading the day. I apologize. But number one skyrocketing beef prices before the first mass produced lab grown beef products are distributed in the united states beef prices have already been going up dramatically beef inflation is outpacing price hikes in other foods and we have yet to feel the full effects of the challenges facing the cattle industry i mean i i did a whole video on um um and how how they're trying to get rid of small farmers they're trying to get rid of the cattle industry and i talked about the black farmers in in particular and how um is is there is less cattle now and the prices are just going to continue to 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 skyrocket but as the powers that be push for lab grown meat they will not allow ranchers or food distributors to mitigate prices um price hikes on beef in fact they'll they'll do whatever they can to make real beef cost prohibitive so they can force fake beef onto the masses they want the beef super duper expensive that's why they're trying to get rid of the, these um these farmers they're not giving them any the black farmers are not getting any subsidies like they normally get they're trying to push them out to make make less beef so it makes it so unaffordable you have no choice but to eat the nasty lab grown meat number two unknown health risks and this is a major, major issue. This, this is one of my main issues with lab-grown meat, why I don't trust it. Protein is absolutely essential for people to survive and thrive. Lab-grown meat mimics real meat protein in ways that cannot be predicted. They are rushing to get them uh, on the shelves despite the fact that there are no long-term studies about adverse reactions or health dangers. And y'all know I'm on big on that. That's the whole reason why I never got the jabby jab because I never, I never saw any long. If there weren't any long-term studies to show um, the effects that it would it would have on people, and this is the same exact reason why I would never try any lab-grown meat. But it's like the old 
sugar substitutes that were revealed to be carcinogenic decades after being distributed to masses. They're talking about um, aspartame. I remember when I first learned about aspartame, and um, I, I remember this is when I first went to uh, college. I, I knew a little bit about it before I went to college, but then I really like studied it when I was in my communications class. I had to uh, I had to do a, a do a talk in front of the class, and I decided to do a talk on aspartame, and I learned so much about aspartame, and and how and and how it was carcinogenic. The government knew about it, um, but they still allowed. We're still to this day allowed to have aspartame and things, which makes absolutely no sense. So what would happen if we find out the health effects later with the um, lab grown meat and the government would probably still allow it just like they allow aspartame. But the differences between sugar substitutes and meat substitutes is that lab grown meat is far more genetically modified than fake sugar. And that's scary. That's super duper scary. Number three, ranches will be taken over or shut down, and we're already seeing that. There is a growing anxiety in the cattle rancher industry that their life's work is under attack. I mean, we have generations and generations of ranchers that are losing their farms. The government is taking it away and shutting them down. They're not being paranoid. Cattle ranches across the country and around the globe are being targeted. We see that. Look at the uprisings in Europe because of the farmers are being shut down. As one Texas rancher told us, quote, it feels like every deck is getting stacked against us and the um, cultivated beef they're pushing is their kill shot. He may be more right than he realizes. Nielsen, a combat disabled veteran and former congressional candidate, believes that high quality all American beef is essential for people to be able to prepare themselves for whatever is to come. Prepper All Natural offers ribeye, New York strip, tenderloin, uh, and other premium cuts that are cooked. So they, uh, uh, all that. So they're basically. Uh, they're, this is a little advertising here. I'm, I'm not mad at that. But quote: More Americans are becoming preppers to some extent this year. Nielsen said it's understandable considering that we, um, what we see happening around us and what we anticipate around the corner. But one does not have to be living in a bunker in order to prepare themselves or their family. But basically, they're just talking about ways that you can um, you can prepare here. So I'll, I'll skip all this stuff here. But being prepared is one thing, but it's impossible to prevent lab-grown meat from being normalized in America. I'm um, sorry, is it possible? Nielsen believes we can stop it, and there are already plenty of efforts underway to do just that. Quote, we stay abreast of all initiates. Um, initiates to stop lab grown beef from hitting grocery shelves and restaurant uh, plates he said it, if people want to eat that crap i'm not if they want to eat that crap they they're, they're free to eat it just like i say about the jabby jabs if that's what you want to do is is it, that's all on you that's your body whatever but don't try to push that crap on me don't put it in my regular food and label it so i have a choice if you want to eat that crap that's totally on you but he goes on to say, he said, uh, we are working with freedom loving leaders to stop not only lab grown beef, but also other threats to to the food supply, such as, you know, the, those those jabby jab stuffs and meat products tainted by uh, secretive foreign imports. So um, there's a little that's a little bit of a, a um, basically selling um, um, some prep stuff here. It's all good. I'm not mad at them for getting it in, but that doesn't change everything that they said here in this article that the globalists are pushing these lab grown um, meats. We don't know the effects. We don't know the ramifications of it. Why would anybody want to try it? Let me know um, uh, in the comments. Are you going to try this lab this lab grown meat? Are you going to are you going to feed this to your family? Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.